Welcome back to another episode in Dollar Diva's World. How you guys been doing? I've been good. I've been okay. But guys, I have an unboxing video for you guys. Yes. <laughs> so guys, let's start with the largest package. Let's just jump right on into this, guys. Yes. Okay. So, <clears throat> We got some packages here for you guys. And I know I, I look, this looks very, very, very unsafe right now. I know. You guys know I'm clumsy. <sighs> and this is not the best method and way to open packages with some scissors. I like me some box cutters or something, but hey. Work with what you have when you have it. All right. I know you guys are looking like, mm -mm, there is no way that's something for coloring. All right. Let's see. Let's get this box out of the way. Let's see what this is, guys. If I can find the open area. There we go. Here we go. All right. Oh, what a pretty bag. It would have been nice if this was in the bag. <laughs> All right, guys. What is this we have here? Let's get all the bags and everything out of the way. And here we go. Man, guys, I know you're looking like, that is not a coloring book. Well, guys, I got this to use when I travel with my coloring supplies. I'll have somewhere to put it. Yay! <laughs> now guys, what is special about this bag is it's like it's like a four in one, three in one type of bag. Okay, it can be you can use it the handles. Okay. Got it. You can also put the handles up in its little secret hiding place. And not use the handles. And you can use it as a shoulder messenger bag. It has the strap. Okay. It has a strap where you can use it just as the messenger bag. Or you can get rid of the strap all together. Get rid of the strap. And the handles and you can use it as a backpack if you don't want to use it as a backpack you can get rid of the backpack um, handles and put them in here and hide them so guys yeah I love this. It has two areas for you to store your books and your phone and some areas out here for me to put my pencils and my sharpeners and different little things like that. So I just thought this was so super cool, guys. And it was only $7.99 on Amazon, guys. So I jumped on that like quick, fast, and in a hurry. <laughs> Okay, guys, package number two is a smaller one, little baby package. What do we have here? Yes, 
we have a pencil sharpener, a Faber Castell Trio Clean Clean. Okay, I have no idea how this little puppy works. Oh, oh, that's how you do it. Okay, <laughs> Universal Color Grip. I have no clue what that means. Okay, well, yeah, Trio. Well, how do you get the sharpenings out? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, well, um, maybe it just pops open like, like that. Maybe. I don't. Okay, we'll figure that out later. <laughs> so, what is a color grip pencil? I'm sure it comes open. There it is. It's coming open like this. There we go. Oh, guys, you, you know you need to help your girl. Help me, help me, please. So here we go. We have our Faber-Castell pencil sharpener. Set that right there. All right, guys, next, 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 we have an eBay purchase that I waited like 55 million days for. Yes, I did. And we have some, oh, trash. We have some stencils. They're a lot smaller than I was expecting, but oh well. You guys see that? Maybe I'll get, um, let's see something dark to put them on I'll get my pencil case <clears throat> and show you guys okay that's that one I'm gonna use these for backgrounds. Very, very, very excited. There's the stars. Here's some bricks. Oh, that gave me two bricks? Okay. I gotta check and make sure I didn't get doubles and none was missing, okay. And I wanna use this one like ASAP in my, um. What is it? My Colorful Town page. I know exactly what I want to do with that. With some, some hard pastels, soft pastels. And this one. So guys, those were from eBay and they were only like 77 cents a piece. So that was an excellent deal. Very happy with that. And guys, last but not least, <clears throat> one more package. Okay, I gotta I gotta be careful with these scissors, guys. Your girl will be the only one that, that finishes an unboxing video with eight fingers. Not good. Well, as long as I don't use those, lose those two fingers on my right hand, I can still color. So, what's evers? <laughs> okay, guys. Man, this little bitty piece of paper. I thought this was like a big thing of paper. Oh, well. <laughs> Ah, uh, no wonder it's in such a little box. Okay, so I got some Nina Bright White Premium Cardstock Paper, and this was on Amazon for $4.99. So I paid five bucks for this, guys. And I heard, I think Anne from A Colorful Life or somebody say that they got their cardstock from Walmart for like $2 and something. So <sighs> don't tell me Dollar Diva got Got, got, man. No, 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 no. I'm just kidding, guys. Oh, well. <laughs> Happy to have that. And the reason I wanted this, because there is an artist that is a member of my Facebook groups, and she is just 
I love her work. I love her work. And I want to start featuring her, but she doesn't have a, a physical book yet. She only has like um, printouts like that you can purchase from like her website. And I think she has an Etsy page, but we're going to start featuring her work and different artists' work. And I'm going to start printing stuff out so and start coloring them. So guys, yes. So I got me some cardstock paper happy 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 now for what i'm almost excited to the moon about yes we got them guys uh-oh tearing up stuff so excited guys do you realize how excited i am right now these were the pencils that i i did the video on that were reduced and i think they have went back up in price so guys you I, you know your girl cannot wait i can't wait to tear into these so like we're about to get into these and start swatching and testing and playing around right quick uh, along with you guys together you know we have the togetherness guys you know it's it's you and me it's you and me against the world <laughs> Oh, yes. Ooh, it's so pretty. I don't think they went. Ooh, they smell like oil. Ooh, they are smelly. They smell like oil. They smell just like the um Spirit Farben pencils. Speaking of Spirit Farben, let's get them out and play alongside oh my goodness guys they are so pretty and here are my spirit farbins let's get the black let's get the black out there's the black oh my goodness guys how pretty how pretty just so fluffy Okay, so this one, the Sergeant Art is there. It they they look different. They're not exactly 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 the same. Yeah, and even the lead looks different. The Spirit Farben lead looks shiny, and if you could see that, the Sergeant Art lead looks a little more dull. So let's get to playing, guys. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait any longer. I can't wait. No, 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 no. I can't wait. Okay, so we're going to put those right there. Okay, guys. <clears throat> let's get out some paper. And I'm going to put... Wait a minute. I need something. A protector sheet. Let's do that. So this is the Sergeant Art, and it has the name on it. Yay! So I'm just going to... Do a little bit of something, something, something here. And I'm going to do a lighter coat there. So we have those two. And I'll put that black back right there. And I'll do the spirit farben. Okay. So. They look pretty much the same. But this is the thing, guys. People were saying that these are water soluble. So let's see. We're getting ready to test. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Got some. Well, I guess I could use that water right there. Let's see. Uh oh. No. Not really. No. Mm. No, mines aren't watercolor. Nope. It's it's breaking the watercolor up. Let's let's try. Let's try a, a red. Do I have a red? I have a mahogany. There is the red. 
there's a red and a heavy color heavy coat and there's a light coat of a red now just to be sure let's get a red in our watercolor pencils crayola just to test this out and here's a red heavy hand and there is a light hand now let's get a little bit of water let's try the water on the sergeant art No, mine isn't doing anything. That's let's now let's see how watercolor is supposed to behave when you add water to it. That's what watercolor is supposed to do right there. And right here. And that's Crayola. So my sergeant aren't art pencils are not watercolor they are not watercolor <sighs> let's try one more maybe you guys who who got a watercolor sergeant art maybe maybe you got a different kind or something so let's see here's a blue Okay, and there's a lighter color, I mean a lighter, and then here's the blue in Crayola watercolor, heavy hand, and lighter hand. Now let's try to activate. Mm. Let me get up a little bit closer, guys. There we go. Yeah, it's not it's not covering the white area. Now what the watercolor is supposed to do here is Crayola. That's watercolor. See the difference? Yep, so mine is not watercolor, guys. Sadly. But that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. They are pretty pencils. So let's compare them to, let's put our watercolors up. I can't wait to swatch these out. You know, as soon as I get off camera, they are getting swatched out. All right, guys, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I'm moving things around. Got to get comfortable. All right, so let's now try, okay, so this is the blue. Now let's try to find a blue comparable in the spirit of Barbin. Let's see, maybe, maybe there's 29 here. And I think these Sergeant are, oh, well, that's the exact same color. Wow. Well, they perform exactly the same. I'm not mad, though, because I love my Spirit Farben. I really do. But I would like to see. All right, let's see if we can match some colors up. Here we go. So let's see how many browns they have. Here we have one, two, three. I would say five browns, even though that says kind of like an orange, but we'll say five. So we have one, two, three, four. And I would say that one is a, well, nope, I can't, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> Oh, but wait a minute. This Sergeant Art has a metallic gold and a metallic silver. And the um, Spirit Farben does not. 
Let's try this gold here. Come on out of there, gold. Gold, and then this is a metallic silver. And Spirit of Farben does not have a metallic um, in their set. Oh no, Miss Spirit of Farben doesn't have these. These are two metallics. Awesome. So that's two that the Spirit of Farben doesn't have. So that's different. And let's see. What else looks different? Here's like a, what color is this? Mm, that's like a jade kind of, let me zoom you in so you can see what I see. Okay. Can you guys see that? What color is this supposed to be? Green, gray. This is a green, gray. And it looks kind of like a, it looks kind of like the, the end part, but not really. Let's see if I can find that color in my sphere of Farben. Kind of like a green. Oh yeah, there, is this it? Yep, that's it. Okay, the consensus is kind of out. Where is that green gray again? Let's try it right here. Give it the heaviest pressure. I'm so sorry, guys. You guys aren't even in frame. Okay, so let's try it again. Let's try it right here. All right, here is the green gray in Sergeant Art. Giving heavy pressure. Hard pressure. Now here is the Spear of Farben 032. Those are exactly the same colors. But, but guys, check this out. I feel a difference in these pencils. There is a difference. So this Sergeant Art must be wax. Okay, the Spirit of Farben, they feel different going down. Oh yeah, there's a difference. The Spirit, there's a difference. The Spirit of Farben feels more smooth and creamy going down. The Sergeant Art feels a little bit more a little bit more scratchy, just a tad, just a tiny, 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 tiny bit. Oh yeah, that's a definite difference, guys. I feel the oil versus wax difference. I feel it, guys. Okay, so that's it, guys. I got it. I got it. This should have been two different videos because this is definitely different. This is, okay, so. I'm going to have to just come back and just give you guys a separate video on this because this is, <laughs> this is massive. Okay. So guys, that's the end of the unboxing video and you just got a sneak peek into the next video guys. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching and joining me and having fun with me today. And you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day and keep being awesome. Okay. Thanks guys. Bye.